Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Satwant from Digital Money Lab. Today, I want to show you four payment cards that you've probably never heard of from different parts of the world. And the reason I want to show them to you is because you probably don't know that you can accept all of these cards in your business due to the partnerships that these companies have with existing Western credit card companies, such as Visa, MasterCard, Diners, and many others. So let's get straight into it. The first one is Union Pay, or sometimes known as China Union Pay, which is a Chinese payment card system that operates under the People's Bank of China. Union Pay provides FPOS, credit and debit card services all over China and is accepted in over 160 countries. There are banks outside of China that can also issue Union Pay cards. Union Pay cards have contactless payment called QuickPass, which makes it even faster to sell and accept payments. The Union Pay network is very big, and some reports have stated that the value of transactions processed with Union Pay cards is actually higher than Visa and MasterCard. So the next one is JCB. So JCB stands for the Japan Credit Bureau, and it has nearly 70 million card members who can use their cards to shop in over 190 countries. JCB cards are also issued by some banks outside of Japan. Now, unlike UnionPay, JCB is not a primary credit card network like Visa, Amex or MasterCard, but its acceptance has increased over many years so that more stores accept it. Next is Rupay. Rupay is from India and was created to reduce the need for domestic debit and credit card transactions to go through overseas providers such as MasterCard and Visa. Having to go through these networks results in high fees which doesn't work well for Indian consumers because 90% of credit card transactions in India are domestic. Rupay has partnerships globally so that cards can be used by consumers when they are overseas. Rupay has partnerships with companies including Discover Card, Diners Club and Pulse in America and Europe. And in Asia, they have partnerships with UnionPay and JCB. Lastly, let's look at Mir, which is based in Russia. Similar to India's Rupay, Mir was set up to be a national payment system created by the Central Bank of Russia. It was created around 2015 to mitigate the risk of payments being blocked by Visa and MasterCard due to economic sanctions that were introduced by the US government. Mir has already partnered with or is looking to partner with MasterCard, JCB, American Express, UnionPay and even Alipay in China so that these cards can be used by Russians when they travel overseas. So in summary, you will be able to accept all of these cards using existing payment processors that either accept the cards directly or that accept them indirectly through overseas partnerships that they have with companies such as Discover, Diners, Visa, MasterCard and American Express. The fastest way that I found to know which payment processing companies accept all these different cards is a trick that I found when I actually tried to start a small business selling goods online. All you need to do is open a Shopify trial account using their 14 day free trial on their website. Then you can go to their settings menu, click payments, then third party payment providers, and you'll be able to see this list of payment systems that you can use in your country. There are two additional payment processing companies that you can look at straight away that are very popular. And the first one is Adyen, which you can see here, that's adyen.com. And the second one that you're probably familiar with is Stripe. So both Stripe and Adyen are a great place to start if your current payment processor is, is old and hasn't really moved along with the times. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found that information to be useful. If you want to accept payments faster and increase sales in your company, please go to my website, digitalmoneylab.com, where you can book a free 15 minute online consultation.
I'd be very happy to discuss your current payment situation and recommend the next steps to make it easier for your customers to buy from you. You can alternatively fill out the contact us form and I can get back to you from there. All of the website and social media links are coming up next. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.